Okay, so if you have a need to use your Ring Central room, I highly recommend, well, if you have a need, <laughs> when you are using your Ring Central room, I highly recommend that you use your personal meeting ID. And this makes it super easy for you to just refer people back to the same place rather than them always having a new link or saying, oh, I lost the link or um, the one disadvantage to using the same one all the time is that it can mean anyone who has it could interrupt at any time. So if you're doing anything, you know, really private, then maybe you would want uh, a unique link. But I personally use my meeting ID for all my meetings. And um, I just make people aware that I use it frequently. So um, if they want to pop in and test the link, then please do that, you know, after 4 p.m. or something. And usually it's not a problem. Um, so when I bring up the app, um, if you're on Windows, you'd have to go into your programs and find uh, the program here, the app. Um, and when I bring it up, it automatically brings me to this one because this is where I always am. But your home screen usually looks kind of more like this or perhaps even, whoop, okay, no, sorry, that's gonna take me another place. <laughs> if you do new meeting like this, then you have the option to use your personal meeting ID. Um, but if you just were to press new, new meeting, it's gonna give you a unique link. So that's something good to be aware of. Um, and then if you go here, you can go meetings and you can just go start. So it will give you a whole bunch of do to do recorded. Um, but you want to be here on upcoming. If you scheduled ones in advance, they will show here as well. And so I just go like this and I go start. Hey, here I am. Wonderful. Um, you can go here and invite the people that you need to invite. So it generates that automatic email. Um, I have mine set to record automatically, so you can do that in your settings. Um, but if not, the button is down here. If you need to share, there's your button there. Um, if you have somebody pop in who's not supposed to be there, then a handy tool can be um, found over here and you can put that person on hold and they apparently get a message on their screen saying the host has put you on hold and it just it doesn't totally kick them out of the room but it also doesn't allow them to participate at all um, so that's great uh, so to close that on the side you just go like that great and that's all it is you can also find if you have generated a unique ID and you're already in the meeting and you're like ah, I don't know what the meeting ID is you can find it up here. And then um, alternatively, you can do that invite, go to Gmail, and then you will just put in your email address of the person or people that you are wanting to join and the link will be right there. You can also just come right here and grab it and text it to them, chat it to them, whatever else, if you're not going to send them an email. And that's it. That is the different ways you can find your personal meeting ID and meeting for all.